Have you ever thought of the experience of a six-month journey to Mars? It's likely that many haven't, as NASA's focus has predominantly been on sending robots rather than outlining clear plans for human missions. However, don't underestimate the potential, because the advent of SpaceX's Starship is opening doors for Mars trips for everyone. So, what does life aboard the Starship during the journey to Mars entail? Let's explore in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode, and with that, let's dive right in. To grasp life inside the Starship, we first need to know its ideal passenger capacity. The plan for Mars flights involves launching humans after at least two uncrewed Starships, ensuring cargo and essential equipment are already on Mars upon human arrival. Human Starships will offer about 1,000 cubic meters of space for habitation, along with oxygen and methane tanks in a stainless steel structure. Although no interior designs have been released by the company, we can still ascertain what will be needed based on previous experience of humans living on the ISS. Elon Musk has stated that Starship has room for as many as 100 people at once, which translates to roughly 10 cubic meters of space per person. However, in practice, space won't be segmented into cubic units. Rather, communal areas, exercise facilities, restrooms, and areas for machinery to recycle air, water, and heat food will be necessary. Personal space could be significantly smaller, possibly resembling a Navy-style bunk or even a Japanese-style capsule hotel. Additionally, crews might adopt a schedule of two 12-hour shifts to optimize space usage, potentially sharing bunks between shifts. So what does the interior of the Starship entail? It's compartmentalized into various sections, each with its designated function. The lower part houses rocket components, including the Raptor engines, while a common domey section above transitions into cargo and crew areas. This upper section, roughly one-third of the ship's length, is the payload bay, and is also divided into multiple levels for efficient space utilization. While the exact height distribution remains uncertain, it's reasonable to expect the cargo bay on the first floor, essential for storing resources, vital for the crew's survival, such as food, water, and life support systems. Recognizing the importance of physical fitness during long-duration space travel, the SpaceX Starship is expected to provide facilities supporting crew well-being. A gym area exists on the third level, equipped with cardiovascular equipment such as stationary bicycles and treadmills to combat the effects of microgravity on crew health. SpaceX has been developing a zero-gravity toilet for their Dragon capsule, expected to be implemented on the Starship, as traditional flushing toilets cannot function in space due to the absence of gravity. Proper waste management is crucial for crew health during long-duration missions, making the toilet system essential for sanitation and comfort. While specifics of the design remain unknown, it will likely incorporate technology to efficiently handle waste in a zero-gravity environment. On the fourth level, crew quarters are anticipated to occupy the space. Though not luxurious, each crew member will have a reasonably sized compartment, reminiscent of capsule hotels in Japan. Moving up to the fifth level, a common area awaits, providing a serene environment for crew members to unwind and socialize amidst weightlessness. This area may feature a generously sized viewing window, offering awe-inspiring vistas of the stars. Finally, the top floor, potentially smaller due to its narrow nose, is designated as the command deck. It is here that the crew will be seated during both launch and landing procedures. The ship is fully autonomous, usually requiring no human input to steer the vehicle. However, some manual controls exist if problems do arise. Connecting all these levels together is a central column designed for easy access throughout the ship and also serving as a connection point for plumbing and electricity distribution. The Starship stands as a testament to human creativity and our relentless pursuit of overcoming challenges that were once deemed insurmountable. The idea of living and working in a self-contained environment for extended periods is both exhilarating and intimidating. And with this rocket, we will shatter all records and reach places humans have never before. That's all for today's episode. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Your feedback is important in helping us make better videos. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.